We are here today to say that a man's home is his castle. And if you defile a man's home, if you threaten his family, if you invade his personal space, then what you do is you put that man's back up against the wall. And so we're standing firm behind Clerk Conaway and we're demanding that the state's attorney and that the attorney general look into this case. Uh, I would first say that I'm a friend of Frank Conaway. I've known Frank Conaway almost all of my adult life. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, I thought, put it best when he said, in the end, we may not remember the actions or the words of our enemies, but we remember the silence of our friends. And today, the friends of Frank Conaway are here to say, one, we were not there at the incident, but we find Adam Mice's conduct suspect. We're concerned about what the police officers did and what they did not do. Uh, we're very much concerned about the welfare and the life of not only Frank Conaway, but his entire family. And we're saying that a full, thorough, and transparent investigation. We want to know who is the investigator. Right. Why was he or she picked? What is their background? But we're very much concerned to say that we're not going to sit here quietly right. and allow someone to try to intimidate any elected official. That's right. We disagree with each other day in and day That's out. Right. But when you begin to reach into someone's own lifestyle, when you go inside of his gate, those of us that know the house know that there are three bus stops. So if the police were there, they had to be across the southwest corner. Uh, so why were they sitting over there not seeing what they said they saw? Why didn't they do anything? Why is there a controversy about a gun and not a gun? But we're here to say that you're going to discontinue to actually approach us on a personal level. If you disagree with a person as an elected official, fine. But we need to draw a line. We need to draw a line with bloggers and radio hosts That's and right. TV hosts coming into people's own personal space, challenging them in their lifestyle. We say this is enough. It says it's enough and we're saying we're not taking this anymore. So thank you. But again, we are working in conjunction soldier to shoulder with all of the civil rights organizations in the city. We've spoken with the National Action Network is represented here today. We've even spoken with the NAACP and of course the SCLC. We're on board as well. So we are working together collectively. We're united on this with other community activists and community uh, organizations around the city. We need for the state's attorney to know and the attorney general to know and for the political establishment of this city and state to know that we are not going anywhere and that we shall not be moved on this issue. Hello, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.